What's up guys, LDG here for buymorebeats.com. This is the breakdown. <clears throat> so today I got a good question about making beats and how involved you need to be. And the thing is, is when, when you're making beats and hip hop and creating music, or not even hip hop in general, but if you're writing lyrics, creating songs, or intangible products, you have to realize that you have to be committed. Now you don't want to just be involved you know, that might be a collaboration of sorts, but you want to be committed with whatever you do. And what I mean by that is, I mean, the chicken is involved, but the pig was committed, right? So I know that's kind of a corny metaphor, but I want you to think about it that way, you know? How committed are you to this? Like, you have to believe that you can live off the music you create, right? If, if your music's good, you, you can't afford any overhead, but you know people out there will like it. You just don't know how to reach them. Everybody has Pandora. Everybody has Spotify, you know. Get on those. There there are plans to get on those, you know. Um, for 150 bucks a year, you can have somebody look out for you getting paid for the amount of streams, making sure you get your royalties collected and paid to you. For $150, these things aren't hard, you guys. You have to believe that you can do it. You, you have to know, picture yourself deep down in your consciousness that it can be done. A good technique that I've used that have got, has gotten me to the point that I'm at, living off my music is visualization, right? So first you kind of want to empty your mind through like maybe like some, some closed eye trying to make, trying to force thoughts out whenever thoughts pop up, trying to force them out empty your kind of consciousness in a sense and then picture yourself having those things that you want visually see that and just try to focus on that for you know five minutes whatever and then even if you're not religious or if you are another good technique is to thank the Lord or whoever your God is your higher power for those things ahead of time through like when you do it then and it really reinforces in your consciousness because what you believe in your thoughts actualizes in reality if it has not already. So belief is a second important thing. Now, when you have problems and trials, which we all will have throughout our life, through what we're trying to do and become the better version of ourselves, um, you know, problems are just a result and a point that you are living you're alive you're alive and you're here because I know of a place there's only one place that I can think of that there's probably a hundred hundred and twenty thousand people kind of in a group community that don't have any problems you know the only place I can think of you know and that's the Lincoln Cemetery that's the only place I can think of, you guys, that these people don't have any problems. Because literally, all of their life problems, any problem you're wondering what you're going to watch tonight on TV when you get home off work, they could care less. You know, because all their problems have stopped. It, it, it's no more to them, whether they have problems or not. It's all gone. It, it's past tense. So just the fact that you have problems, maybe one, two, if you have ten it just shows how much more alive you are when you have these problems. So embrace that. Be thankful you have problems. Because if you don't, you're comfortable. And when you're comfortable, you don't grow. You know, you should always try to keep yourself in a little bit of a state of uncomfortability if you're not already uncomfortable. Because you stop growing and you stop living and you stop expanding, becoming better versions of yourself when you live a comfortable life. You know, you're literally just waiting for the graveyard at that point. So be thankful for those things. I hope that helps you guys. Check out buymorebeats.com. Keep up to date with all our latest inspirational videos. LDG, peace out.